Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my dear friends. A new video this week, week 22, and it's the it's the first day in our story, the new one. Now let's see which story is it and how we're going to deal with it. So I would like you to just go to page 158. And this is the story. I would like you to tell me what is the title of the story? Can you read it? Yes, I can. I can see that some people say fly, eagle, fly. So I just would like to know what kind of sentence is this? Is this a question? Is it a statement? Is it an imperative? I guess that you studied this last year. So please tell me, yes, it's an imperative. It's an order. But isn't it strange, guys? How do I say, how do I, I say to a bird, fly? It already flies anyway. But maybe there is a story behind this title. We don't know. Let's just go and find out, find out what is it. Uh, the second line after the title is an African tale. If you looked at the picture, yes, this boy looks like an African. His dark skin and his look just tell us that maybe he's an African. And tail, what is a tail? Some people will say the tail, like the tail of the cat. Yes, we have the tail of the cat. But the tail of the cat, the word itself is written T-A-I-L. This is T-A-L-E, yes? It's a different word, but it's pronounced the same like tail. Uh, and it's, it means a story. So today, this is a story from Africa. It's called the African uh, Fly Eagle Fly. If you looked at the, the, the page itself, you find that there is a picture of a boy. And we guess that this boy is from, is from Africa. And he has an eagle, a big one, here. So, and here we have a question here. What behaviors are unique to different animals? So if... Once you hear the word eagle, you remember some actions done by the eagle. It's a wild, it's a bird, it flies, it lives in this, or it spends most of its life in the sky, flying from one place to another, searching for food, it's free to fly wherever it likes, and so on. I will see if our eagle is the same like that or it's different. So here on the left, they tell you what is a tale. A, a tale is a story or a legend. Something may, may, not be true, may, may not be true. And it's from other lands. And it comes to you from one generation to another. So your grandparents tell that to your parents and your parents tell to you. And you tell your sons and daughters and they you tell they... And you may tell their grand, your grandsons and so on. Okay, now let's go to the first two pages. Here, I would like you to look at the, the, the picture and tell me who's that man or who's that person. It's the boy that we said that we talked about. It's the boy that we talked about. The boy from Africa, I guess. And if you read the first five lines, you'll know that he's a farmer. That is a farmer. And one, one day he lost one of his animals and he looked, went out to look for it. And do not forget that there is a terrible storm now. He kept looking here and there in the fields, in the valley, in the, among the reeds, but he couldn't find it. He also tried to call it, to call its name. And echoes were here and there, ringing the, now, the, the name, but in vain. He couldn't find any. And while he was in a gully, he climbed up a gully, a ditch. He found that baby bird. And as you know, guys, it was like one day or two. It wasn't that old. And it may, be have, it may have been thrown out of its cage or its nest because of the terrible storm. So he went and he, hold, and he held it carefully, kindly, and went back home. He was still searching for the, for the animal, for the calf, but he, he couldn't. Now, if you look at this picture, guys, 
you'll see that there are some houses, of course, not rich ones, poor ones. And we see some animals because we said a farmer. So he has a farm and the farm has animal farms and so on. But we see that there are some chickens here and there and some, uh, some women. But we found out that the, some boys and girls are very surprised with how this bird behaving. And we said that there are some strange behaviors, some strange behavior done by some different animals. This is very, very strange. This is unusual. I have never, I have never seen a bird, a bit, uh, an eagle among chickens. And it walk like it walks like a, like a chicken. It eats what chickens eat. Everything is is behaving or it is behaving in the same way so what this is what made it very strange and different in the second picture page 164 we found out that a friend came dropped in for a visit he came to visit his friend and he, look at the picture he seems very surprised and you know why he was surprised right why Yes, because of the eagle that is behaving like a chicken. And the man did not stop. He said, excuse me, what is that? This is strange. This should be in the sky. It should be flying. Why is it moving like a chicken and eating chicken food? And do not forget that the farmer himself, when he once held the, the baby bird, he said, I'm going, let's see if he is going to act like a chicken or not. Okay, so here the friend did not surrender. He, did, he didn't give up. He said, I'm sorry, this is an eagle. It should be flying. It's not a chicken. But the farmer said, no, it is a chicken behaving like a chicken. So he told, he told him, just give me a chance. Let me see. And he held the eagle. And just, although it was a bit heavy, he held it above his head and threw it saying, fly, eagle, fly. Now you know why did the writer or the author name the story fly, eagle, fly. So it's an order to the, to the, to the eagle to behave like an eagle, not like a chicken. But um, I'm, I'm so sorry to tell you that it wasn't success. It wasn't a success. The bird didn't fly. Okay. Do you think the, 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 the friend will give up? He will say, okay, I tried. This is enough. No, guys. Successful people do not stop trying. So once you fail, once you didn't, don't reach your goal, you have to go on. Try again. Change your, um, change your ideas. Uh, use different techniques. This is what we studied in science last year, guys, if you remember. Okay. Now, if you looked at the picture, you're going to see that the boy got a ladder, the friend got a ladder, and he scrambled, which means that he climbed with difficulty on one of the houses. Then one of the houses that is made of uh, leaves and stuff. And he threw the bird and asking it to fly, but once again, it could not. It failed. So we stop here in page 166, guys, and I hope that we meet tomorrow, inshallah, and or in another video to continue the, the story. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.